Hey, it's your girl TT. I'm back with another video, and today I'm gonna be doing a hair installment. I haven't did one in a very long time, so hopefully y'all like this. If y'all don't know, today is the day. Today is my one year anniversary. You know, I've never really had a one year anniversary with anyone, so I am very, very excited because you know, I never get to experience that. I never got to experience this. My relationships never really went that far so yeah so i'm very excited here is my wig i think it's already plucked i over bleached the knots but uh you know this right here this came in handy because if i didn't have that i would probably be crying on the floor somewhere but this is it I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and put this on because he said we have breakfast in the morning, so I really have to like rush. So, yeah, so just rush with me. Hopefully, I don't rush too much to the point where I mess it up. That's the only thing. So, today I'm gonna be using this glue. Usually, when I open the glue, it'd be, yeah, it'd be, uh, it's like, oh, I messed up. But I'm going to fix that right now. Try to hurry up. And I don't want to rush to the point where it I mess up my hair. You get what I'm saying? Like, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, yeah. I need a cap. Okay, so I got a cap. I'm hoping I have time to post this today because I want to give you all the experience that I have right then and there. I'm gonna take off this hair, I mean this um, bonnet, so please be like, be ready, because I have some dookie breeze over here. Yep. All right, so first, for the new beginners, or whatever, first thing you do is brush back your edges, because the edges is the most important part, I believe. So you do that, and then you take a random edge control. I'm gonna take Eco today because I don't wanna put too much on my hair and for it to start itching. So I'm gonna put some Eco just on the edges. And it don't, my braids don't have to be perfect. As long as they look flat under the wig, I'm chilling. So go back in brush it it would be way easier if um hold on it would be way e easier if you had an edge brush so go ahead and bring that out and then brush that back Boom. all right Woo. okay let me make sure it's, it's cool no edge is supposed to be out and then you want to take your your weight cap go all the way back but the trick thing that I do is I push it back a little bit so when I do put the um, the spray on there I know my hair it's nowhere near where it's not supposed to be you get what I'm saying boom 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 and then now Ooh, I don't have enough time. He said he's not even gonna be hours. He's gonna be like a few minutes. So how am I supposed to put a wig on in a few minutes? But um, boom. So what you wanna do is you wanna uh, cut a hole right here. Make sure you don't cut your ear. And you wanna take your finger and you wanna just put it around your ear like that. And boom. Now you do this. Do it on the other side. The hole don't need to be big either. If the hole is big, you most likely you're gonna mess up the um, cap. So, boom, 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 boom. Now, take your handy dandy um, spray. I'm gonna use this and I'm going to mix it with this I'm just gonna do these two I'm gonna do one layer of this and one layer of the other one make sure you get them ears the ears is the only part that lifts up 
for me, but I feel like I don't, I don't really care about the ears for real. All I really care about is the front, only because, you know, it's really all you see, depending on what hairstyle you do. So, boom. Then usually I just let that air dry, but I don't think I have time to let it air dry. So I'm gonna just put this leg back. I ain't gonna touch it for a cool minute. And get the blow dryer. I just found out I left my good blow dryer at my mom's house, so now we gotta work with this. And I'm already tired. Now for the second layer of this one. Oh, okay, this doesn't have a cap. And I guess it'd be spilling on its own, so it gets stuck. But oh, we got it, we got it. Come here, Gucci. Say hi. <laughs> All right. So I'm um, gonna move on to step two after I let this dry, so yeah. Next, I don't have like a palette. I don't know if anybody used a palette, but I use like old things, like this is an old um, lash packet, so I use this and I put my foundation on there. But I'm thinking I do need to go darker on my foundation only cause I think my face be getting darker throughout the night. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get a darker one, like a tad bit darker one. And then, yeah, so I'll be right back. So, as you see, this is a, just a tad bit darker, which is going, it's gonna work. I used it before, but since I since I got the other foundation, the other foundation is like light, like lighter, not in the shade lighter, but like, it's not so much, if that makes sense. It's lightweight, that's, what, that's all I'm gonna say. I usually take like an old brush because I don't want to keep putting foundation on my brushes that I use. So I take an old brush that I only use for my wigs and I go ahead and go through it and uh, paint on my head. It's basically what you do. Um, nothing more to explain. While I'm doing this, I'm still gonna let the um, the spray dry but while I do that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put the foundation on the lace so I wouldn't have to do it later foundation is now on the wig um that took about two minutes one second y'all took about two minutes so now I'm gonna go ahead and this is completely dry so I'm gonna start off with the ear this is what I usually do. But if you have a much easier method of anything that I am showing you, please add it in the comments. It would be very helpful. Cause something wrong with me learning to do better. All right. So what I do is I cut around the um, I cut around the um, thick part, and I'm gonna put it right here only cause I don't get in. On my lashes so I just got my lashes done and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the thick part again around my other ear get this little piece of glue boom right then I take this for extra um like to hold it hold my my wig cap in place I put this up here so because you know how when your wig cap be like like going back or or the back be lifting up it doesn't lift up if I do this so yeah when you do it make sure it's like flat like just flat not like all bunched up and stuff then it will mess you up but one thing about me I don't really care about sideburns because I mean they, I think sideburns will look good regardless but yeah so I'm looking at another mirror because I barely can see out of this one and this one be lying to me. Like you know when you're in the mirror and then like you would look good in one mirror and then you go to another mirror and then it just be booty. 
yeah so this mirror be lying so i'm going to a different mirror like a little small mirror that i got from amazon so yeah um when you cut i'm gonna try to hurry up because i still don't know when he's gonna be back um i'm gonna like just cut but make sure you cut in like messy that makes sense don't just cut in a straight line if you cut in a straight line it won't blend in as well so kind of move a little bit but i'm gonna show you how when i'm so this is what it's supposed to look like see how it's not like just a straight line i mean it's not too curvy but i could have did it better but i'm in a rush so um yeah so you want to just make it into, into like a little curvy line or, or like a little spike line i don't know but what you want to do next like what i did right here don't worry about it being white you're gonna keep this foundation out because you're gonna use a lot of foundation whether you believe it or not even after your wig depends on how you apply it but after your wig and right here so um what you want to do is you want to put some on your finger usually i just do it until it dries i don't use a blow dryer but today i am going to you want to put it on the rough edges right and then you want to take your blow dryer and you want to take just like a flat surface of something like usually i use like an edge brush something that you know that doesn't matter for real and then I I do that see it it kind of it looked messy now but once i put the foundation on you you'll be okay okay but um it um melts into my skin it just it doesn't look like all of these that's basically what i'm going for but i'll show y'all when i'm done this is me when it's all done now i'm gonna put oh my gosh gucci stop it man what are you be doodling hair not hair of Whatever, whatever that is. Stop, go play with another toy. Go, go. He's gonna come in here another 10 times. I told him at least three times to stop. But you wanna take your foundation and you want to just put it on the edges like that. So it just makes it look bald, I guess. But I feel like I should have went darker. Like this foundation is not as light. And I feel that's why my wigs be looking all messed up. Well, I can't do nothing about it right now. So when I, what else you do is, since I want this to be perfect, usually, not all the time, I don't do this because I really don't care sometimes. But this time I do care because I want to look pretty and stuff. So. You take a cotton and you take I I use witch hazel witch hazel um, and it has like 40% alcohol or you can just use plain alcohol plain alcohol works really fast it's just witch hazel is good for your skin so do that make sure you use like all like the whole wet part don't use like the cotton part because it will get stuck on your um place so you want to take off that makeup that you put on your skin you really just wanted to put it on the cap right now so take all that off clean off them ears from when you sprayed it yep and then now for the exciting part i am going to take i low-key you can use an expo marker but the only thing is an expo marker bleeds i think it will bleed but um i am going to hold on so uh since since i want it kind of perfect i'm gonna go ahead and mark it off like mark off where exactly i want to um place my glue so I don't place it like, I don't want to explain it, but I don't have two hands, so this is what I do. And then you want to mark it like that. So you know, so basically a guy can tell yourself not to go this far. Not show up that deep on um 
your skin, so you just want to just go over it. But that's basically it if you want it perfect, I guess. Because that's what I do. But And then after you just wipe it off with your alcohol, the same thing that you use for the beginning. But what you do is, you don't really have to take the wig off. I feel like you don't necessarily have to. Oh, let me see some. So you want to put um, about hold on, glue got stuck again. You want to put about three layers, or usually I do two layers and a layer of spray, but. How am I going to do that this time? Try to make it as perfect as possible, but then there's a little bit of time I have. So, this glue. Terrible. But, alright. Okay. So, I am done applying the um, glue. Put it down. Before I put it on the glue, I'm going to just brush the hair back. So no little flyaway here, go inside the glue, then that, that right there, that would become a very irritating situation. So you want to get it back to how it was before, line it up. I do my um, sideburns, I never do my sideburns only because they always lift up anyway, so I never do them when I do the whole application. So boom, you wanna just hold here for a second. Make sure you're, you're pulling. Wait. If I had two hands, I mean two hands, if I had another set of hands, this would be way easier than I, somebody can hold it while I'd be pressing it down already, but I don't have two hands, two set of hands. So, what I'm gonna do is do this again, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take my comb and press down the lace just like that. Is that my phone? And then just keep pressing it down like that. And another, another tip is, it's way better to put less than more glue, you know? Because if it's a little less, you can see where it's over bleach. But when it's a little less, then you can lift it up and fix it. But if it's too more, if it's too more, if it's too much glue, and you have to go in, you have to clean it up and stuff. So hopefully I didn't put too much because I was going crazy with it. So... What else I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in sections. I put less, so that's pretty good. Now that it's somewhat um, laid down, I can just grab one end and I can focus on one side for right now. And then I can go to the next. So be careful with these rack home. So, because, um, I don't know why, but the one I got is really, really, like, close together. So, sometimes it'd be taking out the hair. I could be pulling it. Like, I know when I do my hair and I use this, it'd be pulling the fuck out of my hair. Y'all want to do that? And then, before I go in, well, I think I don't have time for that right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave my sideburns. My sideburns is going to stay for right now. Um, well, the lace is going to stay for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the lace off. And then I'm going to fix it with this. But I'm going to show y'all how to fix it because this is how I do it. And yeah. Alright, I'm done cutting it. Oh my gosh, again? I'm done cutting it. See how I cut it in like a zigzag type of thing. What I'm going to do is now... This hair do not matter right now. So I'm gonna brush this back. Oops. 
I'm not gonna lie, I might need to use some more foundation for the lace. I'm not 100% sure yet because this is supposed to be an HD lace, so maybe it'll blend in more once I lay it down and stuff. Aries is currently on his way back. One second, y'all, sorry. He's on his way back, so. I need to hurry up because breakfast is damn near over. <laughs> um, go ahead and put these behind the ear. Boom. My forehead not see my forehead not that big. I tried to make it a little smaller, you know, since when you wear a wig, you can like shape shift your head. So tried to make my head a little a little smaller. I didn't make it too small to the pool. I feel like this is pulling. That's better. All right. Now what we do is we grab our glue and we grab an object like this, for example. This is where I got the wig, by the way, um, right here. But I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put a, um, a drop of glue on there. You do not need that much only cause you, well, I can put a little more. But you do not need that much though. You don't. So what you do is, um, I have so much stuff in my way. So I'm gonna move this out the way real fast, real quick. And then I am going to grab, um, usually I use a rag tail comb, but I do not want to get this dirty. I already got the other one kind of dirty and that takes a long time to clean. But matter of fact, let me see if I can clean it real quick. This is good enough. It's still a little bit dirty, but we're just gonna use the edges anyway. So, I still need to get in the shower and stuff. I don't know, what we, what was he thinking? Having me put on a wig right now. Um, so, I kinda wanna look in the mirror, but okay, maybe I can just do this. Cause this is kind of a big piece. You wanna pull that piece up, right? And then you want to put a little bit of glue. Well, this is mainly for like the um the little parts. The rack toes home is really for the I don't know what I see it. Really for the um little parts. This part kind of big, so I can really go in with the actual thing and add a little more to that because. Down there the whole lace. And then I can grab the right to a comb and smooth it out. Hopefully I can see it. I can look in the mirror. Boom. Smooth it out until it's um, clear. Make sure it's clear because if it's not, then it's gonna be all tacky and stuff. And you, you don't want that. So, and then now what you do is make sure it's clear. And then you want to grab that piece and you want to just lay it down hard. Yeah, I might need a little bit, just a little bit of makeup. And then you want to grab your comb. You're doing it in sections, so this part usually takes a long time if you want your wig to be perfect. Usually, I would just go through with a rack tail comb and just go through it and kind of rush, but I do not want to do that right now. So go in, take the clean comb. You want to go through and you want to just press down. But yeah, give me one second. All right, so I finished cutting. I finished putting the glue on putting the glue on like the little extra stuff. I haven't put glue on everything because I'm still in a rush. But now I cut off my sideburn. I'm letting it get um, clear and then I'm gonna put it down. But now I'm gonna do this sideburn until this get clear. And then I'm gonna just go back and forth. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this behind your ear, take the hair away. And then you wanna take your scissors and you want to cut the little zigzag that you've been doing up here, just on here. Stop, Gucci, get out! Get out! 
thing. It, my thing, my tops keep falling and he keeps finding a way to bite them. Get out, Gucci. Out. He's like a, I swear, dogs are like a kid. But you wanna cut, I know you can't see this cause I need to see it in order for it to be perfect. So, you cut it into a zigzag and yeah. But I believe this is now semi-dry. So you wanna take the little edge and you wanna pull it and you wanna lay it down at the same time. So you wanna hold this, make sure this is behind your ear so hair won't get all on the stick part. And you wanna take a comb and you wanna press down. You wanna take a comb and you wanna press down. And then you just keep going, you can let it go. Just keep pressing down and then there you go. Now you got the um, sideburns done. So, boom. Don't worry about this because it gets better after I spray. I'm just not 100% sure which spray I'm going to use yet. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue right here. Maybe I can show y'all how I do that. But I feel like, oh, that's cool. So, that's too much glue. Aries is here, by the way. He's um, playing GTA. <sighs> He's been addicted since I got him the PS5. If y'all didn't see that, go watch my um, newest video. And y'all would see his reaction on the PS5. He's literally been on it since I got it. Been addicted. I feel like that was a good finale gift. But you you, you get what I'm doing, right? I don't wanna mess up because this mirror is terrible. But yeah, you just go ahead and do that. And uh I think I messed up anyways, but that's okay. It's okay. At least I got to show y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then um spray it down. I don't know if y'all want to see me spray it down or not, but spray it down and then I'm going to go ahead and put, well, this is what I do, right? I can tell y'all this. I'm going to spray it down. I'm going to blow dry it to make the process faster because I don't want to put the elastic band on yet until like it's like semi dry because if I put it on while it's wet, then my, I'm going to glue the elastic band to my head, you know, and then when I take it off, it's going to be white and that's not what I want. So... That's not what I'm going to do. Again, with this side, take the clean comb. Make sure you take the clean comb. And this is not fully dry. It's still got a little white to it. So be careful when you're laying it down, but I'm just try to hurry. Okay, boom. And then when I do spray it, I do not spray a lot at all. Like, I don't do like this, and then, you know, I don't do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, spray it, and then I'm going to record when I'm done. 